Oh man, come on. I hate it when my rubber glove breaks. Ah. Oh. Hello everyone. I wear rubber gloves a lot of times when I'm doing work around the house, on a car, uh, in a shop, whatever. And I hate it. I hate it when my rubber gloves break. I went out to Harbor Freight. I shop there quite frequently, picking up odds and ends, uh, little tools I need every now and again, and things like rubber gloves. Now, latex gloves, uh, you know, they, they've been used for a long time, but if you're working with things like grease and oil and certain solvents, you can't use latex. So I got nitrile uh, rubber gloves. Now, I've been wearing these gloves working on uh, different things, and I noticed that I would get rips in these uh, fairly often. They would rip out on me uh, pretty often. Now, they say five mil thickness. Five mil thickness. And I was wondering, I have a digital micrometer right here. So we can measure the thickness to make sure that these gloves are actually as thick as they say. Now, five mil means five thousandths of an inch. So one mil is one thousandths of an inch. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one glove out of the top of the box. I'm going to take one glove out of the bottom of the box. And we're actually going to test the thickness of these gloves using our digital micrometer. Now, I have a gauge block here. It's coated with a light bit of oil, and I do that so it doesn't get rusty. This is a Vermont Gauge X-Class gauge pin. It's a very accurate gauge pin. It's, its size is 0 .6200 plus. Now, we're going to verify with this gauge pin that our micrometer is actually functioning properly before we do the test. I want to be fair to the gloves. So what we're doing is we're zeroing... I'm opening and closing to see where the micrometer lands. Because I want to make sure that I can do that three times and get zeros. Well, there we go. We got all zeros. So I'm going to measure this gauge pin real quick to make sure that the caliper, the micrometer is reading properly. And then we'll get to the gloves. Okay, so I got 0.62005. That's dead on. I'm going to bring it back to zero real quick. Now, I did a video review of this micrometer showing the same exact test. I just wanted to, in case anybody didn't watch that video, back to zeros. In case uh, anybody didn't see the videos and they watched this video, uh, they know that this Mic, this mic, uh, micrometer, digital micrometer, is is accurate. That it's reading dead on, and we have no issues with it. I don't want to, you know, I don't want anybody to say, oh, you you got a cheap micrometer. It doesn't work. Well, I just proved that it does work. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this glove. We're gonna cut it up, and we're gonna measure the thickness. And we're gonna see what we get. All right. So let's see what we get. And I'm going to measure this piece three different spots. We'll see what we get. So I'm getting 0 .0026. So that's actually 2.6 mil. I'm going to move to a different spot. I don't know if you guys can see that. 0 0.0026. Again, that's 2.6 mil. And I'm getting 2.7 mil. Let's take... This is the other uh, glove I pulled from the bottom of the stack. I'm going to cut a finger off this one. <clears throat> and we'll measure, the, we'll measure that thickness. So far, these gloves are actually measuring half the thickness that they claim them to be. So, let's... So, on this finger, I'm getting 3.4 mil. And uh, let me 
measure one more spot. And I'm getting 3.6 mil. So let me cut one more finger off. Yeah, I cut the back of this glove off. This was the one we were getting 0.26 and 0.27. We'll take the thumb off of this. Just cut it up. All right, and we're going to measure. I'm getting 3.7 mil. Again, 3.7 mil. So, now these gloves say that they're 5 mil. Yeah, they're 5 mil if you actually measure the whole thickness of the glove. You'd actually have to measure both sides of the glove at the same time, which I'm going to do right here. I'm getting point, I'm getting 5.6 mil. So if I measure the entire glove, just to show you guys, when you're buying at least uh, this brand from uh, Harbor Freight, and it says five mil thickness. Five mil, that, uh, it looks like, maybe I just got a bad batch. When they say five mil, they're talking about the entire thickness of the glove, not the layer thickness of the glove. So that must have been why I was getting a bunch of rips as I was using these. I mean, I was using them fairly heavy, working on, uh, working on stuff, wrenches in hand and such. Well, while, we're, while we have this out, this is a sheet of 20 pound regular standard copy paper. Let's measure it and see how thick, how thick copy paper is, just, just for fun. So copy paper is 3.7 mil. Let me hit one more spot, 3.7 mil. 3.65 mil. So copy paper is about 3.7 mil. Just to show you that uh, A, what copy paper, the thickness is, and also the um, that the micrometer, again, is reading accurate. So that's my review of these gloves. I mean, they're not too bad. When I wear latex gloves, I probably get uh, standard latex gloves. I probably get the same amount of rips. The next time I have to buy more gloves, I'm actually going to buy the thicker uh, version, and then we'll test those out. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, make sure when you're working on greasy things or acid solvent stuff like this, I always like to wear gloves. There's no reason to try to scrape glue or uh, paint, all this other crap off your hands. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.